Alrighty, everybody. So, the Arena Football COVID League. I've been wanting to make a video for, about this situation for a hot minute now. Because the situation is so laughably insane that it just doesn't make any logical sense. And then, you know, a couple of days ago, um, there was something that was just even more stupid. But we'll talk about it as we get there. So about three or four months ago, I did a video talking about the Southern Steam and the Carolina Pan Pre Predators. Not Panthers. Predators. It's very easy to get them mixed up. Playing a game in Jacksonville, you know, in June. And it ended up not going as well as you would think. Because... You know, these aren't even close to IFL, NAL, or CIF level teams, you know. The Predators are from the American Arena League, along with another team that played with them for this summer called the Carolina Cowboys, which is a um, not a good sign, you know. And coming with them were the Steam, which were from Elite Indoor Football, and then also the Georgia Lena Lions, who were supposed to play in the United Arena League, but then the UAL said, no, we're not playing. And then Georgia Lena went to Impact Developmental Football, which is another very low level league. And, you know, things start off okay, but um, then the Steam start playing outdoor semi-pro teams with some of these teams that they played wearing completely different jerseys or in the case of the or in the case of one team you know having a game against Southern you know be billed as the COVID classic which makes absolutely no sense and, all, and the owner also called it the EIF championship, which also makes no sense because that doesn't exist for this year. Um, so crazy, crazy time. And then, you know, as far as the other three teams go, there was, you know, just some off off play. We're talking about games at beat up, dirty old warehouses, you know, you got rope lining the field. You got players and fans getting kicked out of the game with less than seconds to to go. And you got racial slurs being used. It doesn't make any sense. And then, you know, everybody was confused when the whole COVID playoff was mentioned because there was a whole broadcast that, that, that brought this up and for like three minutes, it was a text box explanation of, hey, this is how we're going to do this, even though the Southern Steam aren't even, you know, they don't even participate in this COVID playoff. They keep, they kept playing, you know, the same sorry semi-outdoor pro teams. So, doesn't make any sense. And so there was only one game in this COVID playoff, and some of these teams didn't even play, you know, each other. Like, the Predators and the Cowboys didn't play each other until the COVID Cup, the COVID Championship, which was just a couple days ago, actually. And this game was played outdoors. Unbelievable. It looked awful. And this game was supposed to be a month prior. This game was supposed to be in August. It it didn't happen until September the 26th in some random city in South Carolina. It doesn't make any sense. Now. Now what do you what do you what do you what are you trying to say here, Michael? Is what you're probably asking. Um, 
what I am trying to say is that these lower level arena leagues really, really, really suck. That's what I am trying to say. Really suck. They really suck super hard. It's just awful. And this was no exception. What a terrible idea. Playing, you know, games in beat up warehouses or terrible looking, you know, soccer style stadiums, indoor soccer style stadiums. It, it was just a mess. It's the whole thing was a mess. And I don't know how this even happened. Because, I mean, again, teams didn't play the same number of games. It doesn't make any sense. None at all. But yeah, the COVID league was a thing that existed. I hate it.